all right y'all welcome back y'all welcome back welcome back because i'm too excited because stranger things y'all it's back i'm so excited we are t minus three days away from stranger things because we've been waiting for three years and i don't know how to feel i'm like I don't know if I should be sad, excited, should I cry? Me and Sam has been binge watching. We're currently on season two. Don't, I'm giving them more views. They deserve it, okay? So we're currently on season two, episode four. I know Sam still is watching five right now, but season two, episode four. So we're, we figured out the upside down. Dustin decides to get some weird looking thing, the Dermagorgon, not knowing that it's a Dermagorgon. Tell me if I'm pronouncing it right. Don't know, don't care. But he had found it he found it in his trash can foraging for food, thinking it's just a regular little pet, not knowing what it is, but he picks it up, takes it into his house. We're in episode four where Will gets devoured by this shadow monster that we don't know what the heck it is at this point. And it literally consumes him where he is now the tunnel for the people in the real world real the real world to figure out what's going on in the upside down and how to close the upside down. I could remember some things but other things I can't so that's why I am rewatching it. And I'll suddenly sound like honestly I'm gonna make my kids watch it. <laughs> I don't mind. I would make them watch it. So if you guys see me walk looking this way and that way it's cause I am filming on a the DJI and I'm looking on my phone to make sure that I am focused in the middle and then I have my mirror in front of me which is kind of funny so bear with us and we're gonna get into it y'all mm -mm. all right so today I decided to go ahead with the this will be the school yearbook or the notebook I'm gonna go with the school yearbook because it's 1986. I did not know what vibes I wanted to go for, but I was like, Sam, I'm gonna do this because it's really light. You feel me? So I'm gonna open here. These are the eight colors in this eyeshadow palette. It has this little note because you know Hoppa's not dead, okay? The Russians took him. But um, Stranger Things said it first. I didn't say it. But it has this little thing, so it ha it's like a little protector for the eyeshadow palette. So you could bend it over, it doesn't break or anything. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch all these shades on my skin tone, just for preference. I am currently wearing the Dior, for wait, Dior Forever Matte in the shade, oh my gosh, Sab, what shade do you have on? I'm gonna put the shade right here. I think it's eight, some, I think it's eight. Don't remember, oh my gosh, I forgot what number. But I think, I believe it's eight. It has to be eight. It has to be eight. But I'm wearing that. Um, I'm using everything Dior on my face except for I use this um, Laura Mercier setting powder in the translucent honey. I grabbed that and I'm du I dusted underneath my eye. For um, concealer, I use the Pat McGrath. I use the shade 29 for under my eyes and for around my mouth because I do have discoloration. I do shave because I grow hair here. Who who doesn't, but whatever. Unfortunately, I grow hair here, so um, I have like a little dark pigmentation going on under here, so I went ahead and applied the 33 for Pat McGrath concealer. And um, for under my eyes, 29, and I used a 4.5 from Dior Forever Concealer to bring some brightness into my face. So for any color of reference, this is what we're doing it for because i really i wish that growing up i had someone that looked like me that will help show like hey these are like color preferences so i'm gonna be that person for somebody else out there yeah so we're gonna go ahead and start swatching these colors so in the first color this golden yellow hold on there you go it is called dingus i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it this is the first time I, i've ever had um like max yeah, this is the first time I ever had MAC um, eyeshadow palette. Ain't that sad? So, ooh, it's a nice little gold. Better than I expected. Y'all, I'm not just going to do two looks. 
We're gonna do multiple looks because there's so many looks you could do with just this palette. Like, come on, y'all. Let's get it together. And then we're gonna go to the next side. Well, I'm gonna go down. I should go down. And I'm gonna go across. Across from Dingus, this um, Palace Arcade, which is a purple shade. I swatched it on my finger. I love purple. Purple's always my go to. Purples and pinks. <sighs> Bro, it looks so beautiful. Oh my God. Now we're gonna go underneath Dingus. This beautiful um, blue is more like a, it look like a baby blue, like you're looking in the sea blue, the reflection of the sun. Oh, not said the sun, this the sun to the to the to the sea, you know. <laughs> it is called Melvid's General Store. So this is it on the finger, and here it is, y'all. Oh my God, it looks so nice. It looks so, in person, looks beautiful. I pray that this camera picks it up. Um, now we're gonna go right across from um, Melvin's General Store and get to this pink shade, which is called Star Court Mall. We're gonna swatch it. It's a matte color, so we'll see, we'll see. Touche, touche, not that bad, not that shabby. And right underneath, we're gonna go ahead in this um, transitioning color it's a nice little brown it gives me like mocha vibes it's called benny's burger it does look like a burger i'm gonna swatch that right next to it really nice it looks real orange more orange on my skin i think this would be great for transluting like tra not transluting as a transitioning shade whenever you're using for your eyeshadow and right across from it in this green shade is called hawkins high i love green green looks really nice on any skin tone and this one looks nice wow i'm really excited and underneath we're gonna go right here to this uh what color, what type of color this is really shimmer it's a shimmer color it's really light really nude um hold on i'm like wiping my finger while doing this it is called super boy pizza so is this supposed to like reflect the crust we're gonna say it reflects the crust so i'm gonna put it like right here Oh, wow, really nice. Really not that bad. Wait, this way. <laughs> it's not bad. And then the very last shade is called USS Butterscotch. This right here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this color. Dang. So these are all the shades in preference to my skin. So we're gonna go ahead and figure out what we're gonna do. So um, at first I was like gravitated to doing like pink, like the Hawkins High, that green color and Melvin, the uh, Melvin's General Store. <sighs> but now I don't know. And I'm like, Savannah, you have to figure it out because this camera only has 60% charge. Oh, and then also, we're gonna be using this. I wish they came out with like an actual set, but I like memorabilia, memorabilia pieces. But I wish they came out with like a whole set of brushes for these eye, for the eyeshadow palette, cause I think it would've been fire. Cause these are more like blending brushes, packer blending brushes, yeah. But you could like pack the color in. But I wish it was like more colors, like more brushes, so I don't have to touch mine. <laughs> okay, I'm like trying to take it off. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with um, Benny's Burger, this translu the transitioning shade, this little nice nude color. I'm gonna use my Morphe E17 brush. This is one of my favorite little blending brush and it tacks in into my little crease line cause she's barely got any y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and start tapping it in. Oh, so gently. I think I should like zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Okay. Oh, girl, too close, too close, too close, too close. You too close. Calm, calm it down. Calm it down. All right, we're gonna blend her in and push her up just a little. All right, now we're somewhere. So we're gonna go in with Benny's Burger and pack that in. First thing I would say that is really super pigmented. However, I know with me it's not going to be as like, it's a nice transition in shade, but it does fade out. 
So, um, I don't have, like, any high expectations. Whenever I see, like, a shade like this, like, this is really, like, butterscotch. Is it, like, butterscotch? Whatever. It's, like, a butterscotchy color, so it gives more warmth rather than it being, like, a transition transitioning shade for me. Um, for me, I probably, like, go for more of a brown, like, a little darker, two shades darker than this, um, shade to help like deepen or bring any definition into my eyes so this is like a bronzer to my eyes you know so i'm gonna pack that in we're gonna do a basic look today because i'm really indecisive one thing that you guys should know about me is that i never know what look to go for or what to do in the first place you know so i'm gonna go ahead and pack that into my crease line I think I'm satisfied with it because I did what I had to do baby I think this will be really nice when I apply any colors and I want to fade it out more it'll be really cute now I'm gonna go in with the star court mall which is that pink color and I'm gonna pat, pat it right on top of my crease as well just to start creating some transitioning so I pat it just like this and make sure you're packing it and I'm using the same brush just sway back and forth but pat it sometimes I like dragging it towards my eyebrows to help lift my eyes rather than like sinking my eyes in because my eyes are really like tiny so We're gonna go ahead and pack that bad boy in. Oopsie daisy. So y'all tell me what you guys are so excited about with Stranger Things. Like, y'all need to let me know below. And if you guys have not yet watched Stranger Things, y'all need to get into it because maybe you're missing out. Okay, at first I was thinking I was gonna do um, the green and the purple, but I don't wanna look like Barney. And then, like, if I do the green and the blue, it could be, like, a rendition of this matte look that I did. I could insert it somewhere on the screen. I had to, like, some, something like that. But it was all matte colors from my Morphe palette. So I probably should do, like, something. I, I'll do I'll do that with, like, a pink lip because I want to do, like, a little pop. So, so far, so good. Um, Like I said, being... The pink is really subtle on the skin. Um, you could like, you could kind of see it, but you could barely see it. But once I go ahead and pack more colors in, you'll notice it even more. So the goal is just to focus on the eyeshadow palette. So I'm not using any palettes to assist me with this look. I just want y'all to see how this is. So we sing it together. Okay, together. Do anybody still even buy makeup from like Mac? Like, there's a lot of y'all. There's tons of makeup out there a lot so i'm gonna go in um with this 217 ses mac um blending brush this little packer brush that came came with well you have to purchase it it comes with the whole collection so i'm gonna go and pack in hawken high I packed it in you can barely see because it's sangry so i'm gonna pack it into my crease line i'm gonna close my eyes ever so slightly and pack it on there gonna drag it okay not too bad it low-key reminds me of the um Morphe has like a green in their palette. I don't remember which palette, but it reminds me of it. I don't know if it's James Charles, one of them. But it gets really dark when it comes to dark skin. I don't know if it's like that on fair skin or those of light skin tones. But I see on the camera that's picking up, you see the rose, you see the brown, and now you see the green. So that's how I thought would happen when I start blending all these colors in, that it'll look well put together. Even too with the campaign that they had, you could barely see like, the color payoff on the models so i was i was excited because of stranger things <laughs> ah, i was really excited because of the stranger things that's it so we're gonna go ahead and pack this in on my left eye 
remember to drag it towards the inner corner and I am dragging that thing because baby and pack it in this brush feels pretty pretty good um, just for preference y'all don't come after me because I normally use Morphe um, eyeshadow brushes um, I've never had like a MAC brush before I'll be interested because I like the feel of these brushes to purchase it myself you know like just to see well I did purchase these two but I'll purchase more brushes so I can see how it feels but I like the feel of it it's really dense it doesn't feel flimsy sometimes you can buy brushes and they feel flimsy y'all I'm a girl that started from real technique brushes not even what brushes wet and wild the ones that fall off of you before even elf came into the picture I had those brushes first and then I worked my way to Morphe but real techniques I still still a ride or die for it I ain't gonna lie BH cosmetics y'all I'm just rambling at this point because I'm trying to figure out what to do with my eyes all right so I think this this is kind of cute great little color payoff it's not like but it's perfect I really like it so I'm gonna go in with that blue because I was really aiming for I like the I want to see how the blue looks like on me it looks great on the swatch so we're gonna see it on the eye okay so wiping my little fingertip when it comes to like shimmers I like to use my finger for application so I'm gonna go ahead and close my eye and press it not too bad not too shabby I don't know if it's like picking up the real color it's me digging my finger okay it is I'm just packing it on my eyelid and blending and don't worry we're gonna deepen the edges I'm not gonna do any liner strictly strictly I think I should have used my Pat McGrath um, wand to help pack in the color into my eyes better part of it would have looked a little more you know Chappelle so I'm going back with that green color just to pack it in there it's starting to look a little darker is it yeah it's a little it's looking like the shade now I'm gonna pack it in there and then to soften the edges I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 535 brush it's a nice little fluffy brush I'm gonna go in with that pink shade um star court mall and then I'm gonna dust it on top and sweep it back and forth just to like lighten it up because see it's not that bad it's not that bad it looks cute looks cute and I'm gonna go and clean Just pack in a little bit more color so it's a little quick little look with this not bad touche touche see all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye oops Ooh. No, I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna do that in the inner corner. At first, I was gonna assist the color by putting another shade in it, but I wanna keep the colors simple, like so you could see it, the color payoff by itself. I'll go back. use the same thing to dust it so the colors do show uh, show on the skin and I like putting a little bit of pink to open my eye so it doesn't look too closed you see El Perfecto now I'm gonna go in with this same this Morphe E18 brush 
it's a small packer brush but i'm gonna use it to dust that green i'm gonna do pink i'm gonna do pink underneath my eye mm. yeah i'm gonna go in with star court mall it's so hard to talk to you this part <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna add purple. I'm gonna put the purple shimmer under my eye. I know. I'm gonna, um, it's it's. I don't know. We're gonna know. We're gonna figure out today if it's gonna work. I just I think I should have just hmm, probably put green because I feel as if most of it is just dusting into my eye. All right, we're gonna go to green. This is how I do my makeup on, like whenever I go out. Okay, yeah, green's better. I wish they had like another matte, like four mattes and then four shimmers to even everything out. Throw me like a, a another pink. Touche, touche, not bad. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my inner eye. I'm gonna just pop it in. I think I just use this. I know you shouldn't, but whatever. This is the M506 brush. It's a small little brush. I'm gonna go in with USS Butterscotch. Oh, I should do yellow though, y'all. I don't know. You know how you don't know? I'm gonna do yellow. I'm gonna do dingus. Yes, I'm gonna do dingus. And then pop it right here yes yes yeah good call good call dingus i like it it looks really it looks like um dart when dart first came and dart was a small little slime well no not the first time by the time um dustin went and found him so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eye look off camera and come back so we can complete the lip. So far, so good. Good. <laughs> so do you look like get slow mos? All right. Um, all right. So I went ahead and finished my eye. I went ahead and used Sis and Co lashes. I used the lashes Stranger. Stranger. It reminds me of the Dermot Gorgon. Well, no, the Shadow Monster. Because it's like this. But it's not too much. But it is long. Alright. Another short stopper is the Hawkins. This is the center. Oh, I like this. Oh, I wish I had my nails done. Hold on. Ooh, screenshot. <laughs> Alright, so this is the powder blush. Friends don't lie. Okay? Friends don't lie. Sam, friends don't lie. Okay, let me stop. So I'm going to go ahead and use this powder brush also from MAC. It is the 140 SES brush. Pull this bad boy down. Look, it look like a flounder from Spongebob. <laughs> Or is it Mrs. Yeah, it's the flounder. Because he was like this. And when he turned around this way, he got big. Like this. But here it is. So beautiful. So unique. And this pink baby, I can't wait to see how it looks under. Like, on, of course, on my cheekbone, but underneath my eye. So now with that new trend of blending it, I like it. Because it does help soften my face. So I'm going to go ahead and pass the thing three times and apply this blush. Okay, this is the first time I'm using like a really pink blush. Um, I don't know what to expect. It's really, really light. I'm used to using like this raspberry color, really fuchsia color from Beauty Bakery or even from Pat McGrath. 
But like I said, we're using everything. Oh, it looks kind of cute. I think as you continue to apply, it pays off just a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and lightly apply it underneath my eye and work its way upward. Not too bad, not too bad. It's really, really, really light. So I'll just say um, packing some in that area and then blending it in upwards is what's going to help. But it's close to the same color as, what the color was? Dark Horde or something? Oops. Ow. Ow. Oh, it's showing now. It is showing now. But it looks, it's a more vibrant. It has more pink. Wait, this way. It looks similar, but this is like more blue in it. Oh, now you can see it, but it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Just make sure you're packing it, those of deeper skin tone. You gotta pack it in some more so it can work, you feel me? Baby, let me see you work, work, work. All right, so I'm just packing it in there. Remember, do it upward. And I really like softening it under my eyes. This is really cute. Oh, baby. Oh, I'm going to be Jada Waiter. What? You cannot talk to me, baby. All right. So we're packing it in, and she looks cute. And I like to dust it on my nose because I'm a little fairy, so... She cute. All right. Dust it. I have bangs, so I can't put on my forehead like I normally would. But I think this. <gasps> She's cute. All right. First of all, I wish I came out with a lip liner. I would have been dying for like a, like it should have been like a, a black brown lip liner. Something a little darker than chestnut for Stranger Things would have been something because remember, remember the vines that showed the way? Y'all, I'm still on season two, so don't come for me. <laughs> Rewatching stuff makes you laugh. All right, so I'm going to use this um, MAC lip liner. It's called Cyber World. This is from when they had that little collab with, um, what's her name? Tiana Taylor, okay. Full color. Um, it's really nice. This is one of my favorite lip liners, too, by the way, from MAC. Alrighty. Alright, so out of the three shades, the color that I really, really love, I love all of them. Don't get me, because don't get me wrong, they're all different different shades. So, I'm going to go ahead and swatch them all on me if you guys haven't watched our first unboxing video of this Stranger Things MAC collaboration. You could go ahead and click the link below to watch it. But we swatched it on both me and Sam. Sam is a, a more warmer, she's a golden tone the shade lighter i'm more cooler and i'm a shade darker than sam so more cooler neutral tones so these are the three shades we're going to go ahead and swatch each of them this is the um eerie l perfect nude for the skin hold on oh so pay attention 
Oh no, Seth. Oh my God. Yo, watching yourself and trying to swatch down is really. I don't know how y'all do it. I give y'all props. One day I'll get better. But this is Eerie L. Right here is excellent. Erica, y'all, I love Erica's um character. <coughs> Erica is me, child. Looking at her brothers and her sisters like, girl, what is wrong with you? So I'm going to swatch it here because I accidentally swatched it right there. <laughs> I'm going to put that in my lip right now. But that's the color I'm trying on for today. And then the very last color is Wild Wheeler. It has to reflect Nancy, y'all. It has to. This has to reflect Nancy because this don't make no sense. But <sighs> perfect. A coral shade, a nice berry fuchsia shade in the perfect nude like the perfect nude so i'm gonna go ahead and use wild erica and eerie l to pop it down in the middle yeah i'm gonna do that so we're gonna go ahead i love the sound <laughs> that mac makes so we're gonna go ahead and apply it at the edges of the lip I love ombre so if you're gonna come on my page you're gonna see ombre lip okay ombre for the win Hold on. Ooh. all right so we're gonna go ahead and pop Eerie L in the center. The reason why I love popping like natural nudes on the lip is especially like while you're speaking. I have pink lips, so I don't like that line of demarcation. It looks kind of weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the Eerie L in the center, and then I'm gonna clean it back up with the Erica, excellent Erica. But y'all, you see, baby. Perfect, just perfect. The lip glass is really opaque, so don't expect it to be a lipstick color. It is a lip glass, so it's gonna be really like a glass opaque color, y'all. I don't want to take this off, but I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup look with this Max Fix Plus spray. How do I look? I feel like this is like a rendition if I were a mom in 1986 or no, if I was my age in 1986, if I was a 27 year old woman in 1986, this is how I will probably like look like. So guys, tell me how you like it. So far, so good. I give it a 1010. Like the blush looks beautiful. Y'all. Yeah, and y'all tell me we don't blush, baby. Do you not? <sighs> this is giving me everything. Like this is better than what I expected it to be. I would definitely definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and purchase your Stranger Things items on mac right now especially if it's still available get it it's a great find a great memorabilia especially for those that love the show y'all i may low-key mutt the palette too but this is how much i love the show i would definitely mutt this like okay just so you guys know the definition of mudding it's just what is mudding i'm gonna mud it dang you can't even it's like a mammy sling y'all i'm so sorry are you gonna do the most with it? Dang, doing the most. Say like, whatever. I'm gonna you, do the best of my abilities to use this a lot. Um, but this color, friends don't lie. This paint, bit, bit. Oh. She's beautiful. She's giving. And then um, I had to use Erica, excellent Erica and Eerie L for my lip combo and for the liner that did help it out i used the cyber um world is it yeah cyber world 
Cyber Road from also from MAC. It's a purple brown lip combo, and I use it to create this lip look. And then for my eyes, from the beautiful Hawkins Class of 1986 eyeshadow palette, I use the Hawkins High, the Melvid General Store, Benny's Burger, and also Strange Court. So I basically use like these four colors in this corner. And for my inner eyes, I use Dingus. I'm really tempted to just use Dingus by itself. This would be great for like evening wear. Like it's a perfect gold. Like it's really, really nice. It's a perfect gold. So guys, if you guys haven't done so yet, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Go ahead and share it this with your friends. If you guys have any suggestions of what you guys want to watch with Sis and Cole, go ahead and put it down in the comment section below. And don't forget to have a great summer. It's not even summer yet, but Mammy's feeling like summer. It's feeling like summer meets, um, what's the, who, who the one, Alice in Wonderland with the little, the tornadoes and stuff, but we not got tornadoes. It's just raining nonstop. It's raining. It's hot. It gets cool at night. It's un it's not making any sense and a lot of people are getting sick. So I'm just praying for everyone's health, for their mental health and their well being physically. So if you guys don't mind, help boost this up a little bit, you know? Um, y'all, I just this is so this is if I was like a y'all look. Oh yeah, and hair info, sis and co. <laughs> so just a little snippet we could save this for next time crafting queens which was my hair um my hair it was just a hair name that i had like a hair brand i went ahead and smashed it with sis and co so we have the sis and queens type style hair styles but we're um just mashing it all together so it could be sis and co one stop beauty shop so you could go ahead and still shop with crafted queens which is, well it's not it's formerly crafted queens but it's now sis and co beauty for your hair your hair installs makeup if you want to purchase any beauty sponges we do have some chocolate drops in stock so don't forget to go and check us out at www.sisandco.com if you guys haven't done so yet y'all could go and follow us on the gram like what y'all waiting for there's so much more out there but <sighs> y'all look look at this all right so i'm gonna go ahead and make some more selfies and pull this wig back because i need to finish watching season two <sighs> all right baby boo how you do dj i heard been charged all right <laughs> bye